Hey everyone, it's Saturday, November 20th, 2021. I am out this morning trying to fill some antlerless deer tags and I brought my son with me. He's looking for some grouse action, so hopefully we get some luck on this snowy day. Stick around on this outdoor adventure. My name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's adventure. All right, good morning everyone. Like I was saying there in the intro, my son and I are headed out this morning. Um, we could spend the morning here, we might spend the day, we'll see how it goes. But I think we're gonna sit and watch this field in front of us for a little bit here this morning. And then um, there's a little cut line along the back I think that will bump along. So um, it's a weird day today. It's only like minus five or six this morning but it's supposed to drop temperature down to about like minus 10, minus 11 degrees Celsius through the day. Um, I'm about an hour west of Edmonton. It wasn't snowing at home, but I think we're supposed to get a bit of snow, but it's coming down pretty heavy here. Um, yeah, so anyways, we'll see how this goes. Wish us luck. Yay, he finally did it. He's on the board with a double down chicken special. Two rough grouse with the 410. Good job, buddy. So as you can see, my son was pretty excited to get his first grouse. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, at the end of October, he and I had gone out on his birthday weekend to try to go get some grouse. But unfortunately, on that trip out, uh, the shotgun was having some issues. The shells weren't ejecting out of the hinge action 410, causing us some problems. So we ended up cutting that short uh, a little bit and came back to the city to get it fixed. So needless to say, he was pretty bummed and pretty disappointed, but I think he was pretty pumped this morning to uh, land a few birds on his own. Um, the recovery on those birds was pretty difficult. Um, so it was funny because we were sitting under a spruce tree um, watching a trail for deer and then we had actually heard one of the birds behind us uh, sort of spring out of the snow and uh, fly off into a tree. And so any hunter or anybody who's been out in the woods knows how much and how unique of a sound those grouse make. So we ended up dumping our backpack and kind of taking a look for that grouse and saw it sitting up in a tree. So he took a shot at that bird and it fell straight down. But while we were walking over towards that bird, uh, it jumped back up and flew off into another tree. So he shot that bird and it went down in the snow. Um, we went and checked the site of the first shot and actually found that the bird did go down, but it was a second bird that had sprung out and he had shot that second one as well. Um, but the second one was a lot harder to find. Uh, we sort of had lost track of it, fell down in the snow, um, and uh, so we probably searched for 20, 30 minutes till we found it. So we were super pumped that we were actually able to recover it. Uh, we were a bit nervous for a minute or two and we could, couldn't find it, but we didn't give up hope and we ended up tracking it down. We walked through here before already and you can see the deer tracks over top of our footprints. We ended up still hunting our way back towards the field where we started the day. And then we ended up hunting the field for probably about another hour more before deciding to call it quits for the day. Well, when we got back home, we uh, started cleaning out the grouse and getting them ready for supper. My little guy was pretty pumped to share his grouse with us all, so we had decided to cook him up in the air fryer. 
Um, we made four different batches. We made a, a plain flavor, we made a Frank's Red Hot, we made a hot in honey where we mixed together Frank's Red Hot sauce and some honey, and then we made barbecue. Um, they were all great, but I really think that the hot honey was absolutely the best flavor of the bunch. Um, my son really enjoyed his entire experience outside today. Like I said, he was absolutely over the moon that he was able to get some chickens. Um, I'm pretty happy that, uh, you know, like I said, after having a disappointing hunt earlier this fall that he was able to get out and have a little bit of action. Um, we are planning on still taking them out for a few more grouse hunts. We can still hunt grouse in Alberta until mid-January in a lot of areas. And I have about one more weekend to go, so I think I'll be bumping out next weekend solo. Uh, my last chance to try to get a deer or to fill that moose tag, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but again though, if this was your first time here at the channel and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please hit that subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.